Everyone is invited. Trophy presentation for the Mud Lights. Behind the uh, snack shack. And of course the trophy presentation coming your way for the Dent Doctor Queensland production title. Over behind the snack shack, you are all invited. Please come. Please uh, be part of that presentation. Well, a little bit of precision driving. Who said we couldn't do it? Four abreast, folks. Wave to them. These are the people who are bringing you the Queensland production sedan title. 40 laps the journey before we can name another Queensland champion and another great race meeting here at Kingaroy Showground Speedway. We're going to start them for what? I don't think so. <laughs> That's it folks, put your hands together for them. They put on a great show. And this is it. This is what they're here for. This is what they want. Queensland number one at the end of tonight. Josh Arthur inside the next row, the lights have gone out. Just about set folks, 40 laps the journey. Tie yourself in, here we go. Can we do it without a stoppage? Off and running, Brett Baxter down on the inside. Tim Smith outside of him won't let him go. Getting clear in position number three is Chris Pagel. They're still battling it out out the front. Tim Smith versus Brett Baxter. A little bit of push and shove. Andrew Corbett on his way through. And on the inside of Chris Pagel, trying to move up into position number three. The Datsun is in front. Tim Smith. Brett Baxter. Andrew Corbett. Stuart Fawcett having a look underneath Chris Pagel. Pagel tries to shut the door on him. Josh Arthur would be the next one and then Andrew Beaton. And they have cleared away from the rest of the pack. Brett Baxter has got himself into the front. Tim Smith in two. Andrew Corbett in three. Has locked in a battle royal with Stuart Fawcett as they go round the western corner. Dropping back into position number five is Chris Pagel. Josh Arthur would be the next one. And then Andrew Beaton. We go to Russell Cowley. In front of Brad Shearer. Next one getting through is Luke Edwards. On the inside, Tim Atkin. Trying to muscle his way from the back of the pack. Josh Harm is in that pack as well. We go back to the front of the field where Brett Baxter is the race leader. One in trouble. And we'll get it off the, onto the infield with uh, broken steering by the looks. Is actually car 32. Back at the front of the field. It is still Brett Baxter who's opened up a bit of a lead over Tim Smith. Back then we go to a battle royal for position number three between, and there's a lot of push and shove, between Andrew Corbett and Stuart Fawcett. Next one in the line is Chris Pagel, Josh Arthur and Andrew Beaton. Then a big gap back to Russell Cowley and Josh Harm. Race leader has completed eight laps of the 40 lap journey and that is Brett Baxter. Has probably got a 15 metre lead over Tim Atkin. There's still a real fight for position number three. A little bit of push and shove still. And that of course can lend to damage of a race car and undo everything that you've done. Next one behind Stuart Fawcett is Chris Pagel. To the better then. 
of Josh Arthur. And back behind them still is Andrew Beaton. There will be a change for position number three, although Corbett shuts the door on Stuart Fawcett and allows Chris Pagel up very quickly in behind. Our race leader is coming up on the tail of the field and the first one of those will be Sarah Franz tucked in there too with Kerry Lack. So race leader, Brett Baxter, he's up to lapping cars. Goes to the outside of Sarah Franz. All she has to do is hold her position. There's the flag. Sarah goes down the inside of Kerry Lack. And our race leader is mixed up in that. That's Brett Baxter. He goes down the middle of them. He's put a lap on Sarah and Kerry Lack. Tim Smith is in the mix in there too. Next one through is... Uh, Andrew Corbett, back to Stuart Fawcett, and still in there is Chris Pagel. The next one would be Josh Arthur. A bit of a gap back to car number seven of Andrew Beaton, who's falling into the clutches of Josh Harm. Pick up our race leader. He goes to the outside of Chris Besling and puts a lap on him. So now he's got a rather quick lapped car between himself and Tim Smith back then to Andrew Corbett. Next one coming through in that position will be Stuart Fawcett with uh, Chris Pagel caught up in the mix. Josh Arthur trying to get in amongst that lap traffic as well. Race leader coming up on the tail of Richard Cook. He will be the next one as the lapping flag is displayed to him. Chris Cook. Richard Cook has to hold his line. Brett Baxter moves down the inside. Next one in his position is Jim Cowley. Tim Smith is still chasing hard in car 36. And Andrew Corbett is still there as well. And Stuart Fawcett. They've dropped off Chris Pagel a little bit. He's falling back into the clutches of Josh Arthur. Then we go back to Josh Harm who uh, has got his way past Sarah Franz and then Tim Atkin. Race leader puts the lap on Jim Cowley. As he goes past the pit gate and into the western corner. Got his eyes set now. On car number three. And that is Darrell Ash. Ash staying up high. Next one behind him is our race leader. Brett Baxter, can he find a way past Darrell Ash? Stays down low, Ash stays high. Getting around the outside of Jim Cowley now is Tim Smith as our race leader. Brett Baxter, he's halfway home. He's done 20 laps. Heads down the back chute. He's up behind Trent Nicolia and Luke Edwards. Nicolia with a little bit of smoke coming out of the back of the car. Loses the boot lid. Hopefully that won't bring on a yellow one. The race is fantastic, it does. Head brings on a yellow one. Nicolia has lost the boot lid. And that is a crying shame. What a race. What a race. Queensland production title. Boot lid coming unstuck. Race leader, Brett Baxter. On the lead lap, trying desperately to uh, remember Trent Nicolia is also still on the lead lap, only just he was. So anyway, lights are going out outside of the witch's hat. Brett Baxter says, catch me, and takes off. Going to the outside of Darrell Ash is Tim Smith. Trent Stewart Fawcett goes with him. Chris Pagel goes with him. These four clearing out from the rest of the pack as Jim Kelly goes around the outside of Darrell Ash as well. Coming down the inside, have a look at that. It's Josh Harm, he's moved up three places. And it's Josh Harm now on a message through. Tim Atkins going with him. One in trouble is Chris Pagel, they got him around. 
and as often is the way after a stoppage it leads to another one I think Chris Pagel might have had a flat tyre and was trying to make his way onto the infield anyway but got a bit of a helping hand and uh, Harmy too has some problems with the front of the car Shearer caught Brad Shearer pulls in as well for a quick check there won't be any lap cars in between them this time Brad Shear has had enough. No, he's going back out. Harmy got some trouble with the uh, the front panel of the car, and that was when uh, Chris Pagel flat tire trying to get out of the way. I think car six is still on the lead lap as well. That's Luke Edwards. Anyway, let's see how we go with the restart. Hammer and Tong up the front. 19 laps remaining. Brett Baxter. Tim Smith, Stuart Fawcett. One in trouble with a bit of smoke coming out of the car is indeed the, uh, the Ash car, that's Daryl Ash. As uh, they settle themselves down in the middle, panels falling off the harm car as we thought, but Harmy's still in the mix. I don't know how far car three can continue with the smoke pouring out of it and now it's uh, right up against the fence. We got him three wide as Harmy pushes his way through. Down the main straightaway. Brett Baxter, we got a yellow light. The one in trouble is the Darrell Ash car. As he drives past the tower, he says, what, me? Was that me making all that smoke? There was also you with the fire underneath it as well. <laughs> Tim Smith in trouble down the back straight away. Has stopped. Push car to the assistance. Hopefully no, no problem for Tim. Wants a push, push car to the rescue. So, Brett Baxter, Tim Smith, Stuart Fawcett. Josh Arthur would be the next one, Josh Harm, Tim Atkin. Andrew Beaton, Luke Edwards. I think Trent Nicolia is still on the lead lap as well. Um, Chris Beasling, I think, is a lapped car. Oh, this couldn't be right. They can't get car 36 to fire. Push it faster. Just push it. She doesn't want to go. And that is uh, tough news for Tim Smith. He's brought it onto the infield. Trying desperately to get the thing to start. Brett Baxter, Stuart Fawcett, Josh Arthur, that's the front three. Brett Baxter's away, Stuart Fawcett in hot pursuit. Here comes Josh Harm underneath, going around the outside of him now. Here's Tim Atkin, he's up to position number four after starting at the back of the pack. Brett Baxter puts some other lap down on the journey. Lismore driver Stuart Fawcett still in hot pursuit. Tim Atkin has gone underneath Josh 
uh, Josh Arthur, but that's because there's a yellow light on. Another stoppage. We got the first 20 laps done. And now we're going lap at a time. Between Stuart Fawcett and Josh Arthur. Watch for a green one. We're away again. Can we get the final laps done? Brett Baxter, Stuart Fawcett. Next run through is Josh Arthur. Down on the inside of Richard Cook. He can't get by. Josh Harm is in there, as is Tim Atkin to the outside. Atkin goes around the outside of Josh Harm. Josh Arthur's got the thing up on two wheels as they go through turn two. To the outside of him is Tim Atkin. Tim Atkin on the move. From the back of the pack is up to position number three. It's still Brett Baxter to the better of Stuart Fawcett. In position number three will be Tim Atkin. Back then we go, Josh Arthur, Josh Harm. And then I think you'll find it's Andrew Beaton that the uh, front two cars are getting closer. Brett Baxter still has Stuart Fawcett right on him. Fawcett on the outside, that's the Lismore car. Brett Baxter holds him at bay as they go down the lane straight away and under the control tower. Brett Baxter, Stuart Fawcett, Richard Cook and moves aside now and here comes Tim Atkin. Can he get up into the, uh, into the mix? Brett Baxter, Stuart Fawcett. That's the way they career down the lane straight away. Tim Atkin on the inside of Cookie. Next one is uh, Josh Arthur, then Josh Harm. We go a long way back then to Andrew Beaton. Back at the race lead. These two are really mixing it up. Brett Baxter. Stuart Fawcett drifts a little high on the racetrack. Tim Atkin is hunting them down. Long way back to Josh Arthur and Josh Harm. Down the main straightaway. They're coming up quickly on some of the vehicles in the pack. 30 laps down, 10 to go. Brett Baxter, can he hold on? A little bit of smoke out of the back of the car that time around. Stuart Fawcett is high on the racetrack. Here he comes, down the outside. Fawcett's done it. Stuart Fawcett goes into the race lead. Fighting back on the inside is Brett Baxter, but he can't do it. Stuart Fawcett's got the drive. Lismore car, 65, Stuart Fawcett around the outside and into the race lead. Brett Baxter, car getting a little bit untidy. Perhaps the tyre's gone completely and in fact has got it all crossed up and has allowed Tim Atkin to run by and has had now Richard Cook unlap himself. Our race leader is down the main straightaway. He's coming up on Sarah Franz. Put another lap on Sarah does so down on the inside we're in the final seven laps of the event Tim Atkin is still chasing him next one in his sights is Chris Besling back in position number three is still Brett Baxter but uh, Josh Arthur hunting him down and Josh Harm we go back to our race leader Stuart Fawcett having a great run up the front Heading down to try and put a lap on Chris Besling. He's got five to go. Can he do it? Goes to the inside of Besling. Puts a lap on him. Putting a lap of car between himself and Tim Atkin. Down the main straightaway. Stuart Fawcett. He's four laps from home. He's got a couple of cars in front of him this time. Trent Nicolia is one of them. And Jim Cowley. Back in position number three, Brett Baxter has called it quits. Pulled it on the infield. Josh Arthur holds on to three. Trent Nicolia is going to split them down the middle. Has on the outside of Nicolia has done it. And he's got three cars between himself and Tim Atkin. And that might be enough. Down the main straight away. 
Luke Edwards is the next one in front of him. Still chasing hard. Here's Tim Atkin underneath the uh, pit gate and into the western corner. Stuart Fawcett through turn four. Luke Edwards is the car in front of him. He's got one to go. He's brushed the fence. Coming through turns one and two. Can Tim Madkin, I think he's got a flat tyre on the last lap. Can you believe it? Tim Atkins going to drive around him. Stuart Fawcett has blown a tyre in the final lap. And Tim Atkin has come from the back of the pack. Stuart Fawcett in for two. Third place will be Josh Arthur, Josh Harm and Andrew Beaton. Can you believe it, folks? Put your hands together. It's not over till it's over. And he's done it again. Tim Atkin, the Queensland Den Doctor production sedan champion. Ladies and gentlemen, we invite you to the trophy presentation behind the snack shack right now. Trophy presentation, the Den Doctor Queensland Production Sedan Championship and the Mud Lights. And it doesn't get any better than that. The last third of a lap, would you believe? Stuart Fawcett. The thing just went off in the last third of a lap. Uh, I got Stuart Fawcett with me. Stuart, that is absolutely devastating. <laughs> well, you're telling me. All, all I can do is thank my old man for the amount of time he puts in on the car. Uh, got to give a big special thanks to Steve Downs. He's helped us rebuild this car a couple of times. Uh, Trent Nicola, he's helped us to straighten it out in his panel shop and just everyone that's helped us out, it's a bit gutting losing a right rear on the last lap, but hey, that's motor racing. Okay, we've got a lovely big trophy and a big check for you. Later on behind the snack shack, third place, we're going to very quickly keep Tim right there for us. Tim, thank you. Third place in the event, Josh Arthur. Fantastic race, Josh. Excellent stuff. Uh, that was a hard race, tell you what. <laughs> Left, she's pretty dead, so need a new motor, Dad. <laughs> Needs a new motor, Dad. It's dead. Needs a. Okay. Very quickly, we'll get over to uh, Tim Atkin. Don't forget, folks, over behind the snack shack is where the presentation is. over behind the snack shack folk make your way trophy presentation coming your way absolutely fabulous then doctor production sedan title of queensland and the mod lights those are presentations on that presentation area very shortly just a very very quick word with tim it ain't over till it's over tim a fantastic drive from the back of the pack And 200 metres from home, you ended up in front. Fantastic. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. I, you know, Stuart's a top bloke, and I thought his luck had changed. You know, he's had a rough drop, but he's got a really quick car. And I was saying I was happy to be in second following him. And yeah, and 
just goes to show you don't ever give up. Okay, don't forget, take the car around to the presentation. Presentation com coming your way. Fantastic stuff, folks. Thanks very much for being with us here at uh, Lucas Oil Kingaroy Showground Speedway. Don't forget, presentations in the pit area. That's where all the trophy and the big checks are.